Iran on the elite list of eight countries that are capable of producing fighter jets engine. On the country's Defense Industry Day in 2016, Iran's former president Hassan Rouhani had unveiled the first domestically produced turbojet engine, Oj Zenith, in a prestigious ceremony attended by press officials, industry experts, and scientists of the nation. This puts Iran on the elite list of eight countries that are capable of producing such high-end aircraft engines through indigenous technology and makes a breakthrough in the county's defense and aviation industry. The engine, which was designed and manufactured by the country's leading scientists at the Defense Industries Organization, is now slated to be pressed into mass production. The OJ is one of the most sophisticated products to be produced in Iran and will go a long way in decreasing the country's dependence on foreign technology and aircraft engines. The engine comprises 14,000 individual components and can operate at an altitude of 50,000 feet in various climatic conditions. Its approximate takeoff weight is around 10 tons, which is more than sufficient to power the multi-role fighter jets of the Iranian Air Force. This engine serves as a benchmark for the manufacture of subsequent jet engines that Iran hopes to continue designing and building. Iran is now poised to look forward to a new generation of light aircraft and heavy-duty planes, based on the Oj turbojet. Turbojet engines are air-breathing engines used in aircraft and ballistic missiles. It is constructed with a gas turbine and propelling nozzle, with the gas turbine consisting of an air inlet, compressor, combustion chamber, and an exhaust chamber. The turbine powers the compressor, which compresses air and heats it with burning fuel in the combustion chamber. The hot gases are allowed to expand in the turbine. The turbine exhaust gases then extend through the propelling nozzle where it accelerates to high speeds, providing the necessary thrust. Variations of the turbojet exist, such as the turboprop, which has a propeller attached to the compressor assembly, and turbofan, where a ducted fan accelerates air using energy from the turbine. Although turboprops and turbofans are quieter and more fuel-efficient, turbojets are used in aircraft and supersonic medium-range cruise missiles because of their high speed of exhaust gases, the simplicity of construction, and reduced cross-sectional area. The inlet or air intake is placed directly in front of the compressor at the front of the engine assembly. It helps direct incoming air, which is cold and at low temperature, into the rotating compressor blades. The air is flowing at subsonic speeds, regardless of the actual speed of the aircraft or vehicle. The compressor, which is driven by the turbine, then takes this cold and low pressure air and compresses it, increasing both pressure and temperature. Typical rotational speeds are around 2,500 rpm, while compressors of smaller helicopter engines spin at a mind-boggling 50,000 rpm. In contrast, the internal combustion engine of a car spins at around 6,000 rpm. From the compressor, the air now moves into the combustion chamber. Fuel is introduced into the combustion chamber, and the burning of the fuel-air mixture takes place. The burnt gases flow through the turbine, causing it to spin at high speeds. 
the turbine is placed on the same shaft as the compressor, which causes the compressor to draw in more air to the chamber in a reciprocating process. The penultimate stage consists of a turbine where hot gases expand through the chamber. Air from the compressor is used in this stage to cool the turbine blades and vanes. Enormous horsepower is defeated in the turbine, which drives the compressor and auxiliary accessories, such as the fuel, oil, and aulic pumps driven via the gearbox. The final stage consists of the nozzle, where gases expand through the exhaust and produce a jet of air at high velocity. The convergent ducting narrows down to a throat to provide the necessary thrust for the engine. A combustion chamber can be added in this stage to further reheat the turbine exhaust gases, and this is known as an afterburner. Afterburners are used to produce supersonic flight speed in aircraft. The typical thrust produced by this type of engine is 115,000 pounds, 510,000 newton. Iran's Ministry of Defense officials have stated that this achievement has elevated the country's status and placed them in higher ranks in the Middle East region and worldwide. It has increased national confidence regarding the youth's superior technical knowledge, design, and manufacturing capabilities. They express that the next step is to accelerate this process to increase defensive capabilities and protect the country's airspace.